Hi guys, this is Sir Ernest and today we will work on a sample problem involving linear dielectrics. The problem reads, A certain coaxial cable consists of a copper wire, read this A, surrounded by a concentric copper tube of inner radius C, shown in the figure. The space between the partially filled B out to C with the material of dielectric constant epsilon r as shown. Find the capacitance per unit length of this cable. So from here you could notice that okay, this side okay is the uh, is the um, upper tube okay and this is the copper wire. Okay, this boundary is the boundary between the dielectric material and vacuum. Okay, so here we're going to consider two regions. One inside the vacuum and one inside the dielectric material. Okay, so in other words, this is where the dielectric material is. It's called that. Um, epsilon r and this is vacuum so that means here the uh, the permittivity of free space is used okay so now from here we could look into the capacitance per unit length so for example in this case if we're going to uh, change the view of our copper wire we now have this is your inner copper wire and this is your um, this is your copper tube okay and then uh, between the copper wire at, at radius B you have your the electric material okay now, if we're going to set this as our length L, okay, we can now calculate the electric displacement due to the copper wire. By Gauss law, where the integral of D dot DA is equal to Q free and close. Okay? So right now we're not certain the charges but we know that the charge here at the, co the, the copper tube is the same as the charge here okay so if you're going to set one is positive the other is negative so let's say this is negative and this is positive q okay so this is now your free charge Okay, so the Gaussian surface, so this cannot be written as D times A. And this is equal to Q, where A is the area of your cylindrical Gaussian surface. For example, in this case, uh, okay. So that means okay now now before doing this calculating this we're looking for the capacitance per unit length so the point here is that you want to know the uh because remember that capacitance is equal to what this is equal to q over b where q is the charge on one of the plates this one Okay, so that means we need to find the potential difference between these two plates because this between these two plates there are two essentially there are two materials that we're talking about vacuum and the dielectric material so that means we need to calculate the potential difference between a and b bit so uh, sorry between a and c Sorry about that. 
So the potential difference between the uh, between the tube between the tube and the wire it's called the T A C will now be equal to the potential from A to B plus the potential from B to C. Okay? So this gives this uh, suggests that we need to find the electric field within the vacuum and within the dielectric material. Okay? So let's do that. So that means we need to use the Gauss law for dielectrics to calculate the electric field. Now going back in this equation, so we know that D is now equal to Q over A, where A is the you know, Gaussian surface. Okay? So that means this is, let's say, this is your Gaussian surface. Okay? So this Gaussian surface has shape, island L, and radius S. So that means area of the Gaussian surface will now be equal to um, 2 pi s so that's the circumference of the cylinder and then the length of the cylinder or the height that's 2 pi s times n over q okay so because this dielectric is between this uh, between this therefore we can know the electric field at each individual material so to speak so for regions in vacuum so that means value of s this is your s will be between a and b okay so e is equal to d over epsilon right and this is equal to q over 2 pi epsilon naught SL. So we use epsilon because the permittivity of this material, which is a vacuum, is epsilon naught. On the other hand, for um, S greater than B and S less than C, so this, so okay, the start is this one, this region is this region. This region is this region. Okay? So E will now be equal to D over epsilon. Okay? Where epsilon is the permittivity of the material. Okay, and that is equal to what? That is equal to permittivity of free space times the relative permittivity, which we're going to use later. Okay, and this is now equal to um, Q over 2 pi epsilon S N. So therefore, the potential... From A to C, you know, which is equal to integral from C to A, negative integral of E dot DL, which is equal to negative integral from uh, C to B, so that's from C to B, E dot DL minus from b to c uh, from b to a e dot d okay so substituting e for this region and for this region i'm oh, sorry e for this region and e for this region we now have um it's now equal to 
integral of q over 2 pi epsilon sl. Our dl here would be ds. Okay? ds s hat. So this is ds plus integral of so this is uh, this becomes positive because I will what I will do here is I'm going to uh, interchange the uh, limits of integration. So this becomes b to c. So again, this is uh, from c to b, and then I the I flip or the I uh, interchange these limits. So that's why it's positive here, and the same thing goes here. So this is from a to b, e which is Q over 2 pi epsilon naught SL yes. so the common factor so we know that epsilon is equal to epsilon naught epsilon R yeah right so therefore, this can now be equal to um, Q over 2 pi epsilon naught L times the integral of TS over epsilon RS from B to C plus integral from A to B of DS over S. Okay. Okay, so this gives us this result. V is now equal to what? We're going to integrate this. We now have... Uh, anyway, before that, okay, so remember that we're looking for For that, we're looking for capacitance per unit length. So this becomes C over L. This is what we're looking for, and that is equal to Q over VL. Okay, so that means we want to know what Q over VL is. So C, again, C over L would be Q over VL. Okay. Sorry, uh, which, uh, okay, see, okay, before that, okay, that might be, be confusing to you, that's fine with me, so I get confused as well. Mm, let me erase this first. Okay. Okay, now, in this case, V will now be equal to uh, Q over 2 pi epsilon naught L times the integral of this plus this. So this, the first term, will now be equal to 1 over epsilon R ln of, correct, C over B. And this is plus ln of b over a okay now let's uh, calculate now the capacitance per unit net as I mentioned earlier the capacitance per unit L is equal to Q over V L. So the goal is we find an expression equal to Q over V L. So what we can do is we divide both sides of this equation by Q over uh, by, by V. 
So this becomes 1 equals Q over 2 pi epsilon naught L times the whole of this. Okay? You see? Okay. If you want to know Q over L, so that becomes, we, we transpose 2 pi epsilon naught on the other side. And then, as well as this whole factor. Okay? So the result is, this Q over VL or C over L, the capacitance per unit length, will now be equal to 2 pi epsilon naught times the reciprocal of this. So we just write it as is. 1 over epsilon R ln C over B plus ln B over A to the negative 1. Okay? So this is now the capacitance per unit length. And as you will notice that if, for example, okay, uh, if Um, if epsilon r is equal to zero so that means uh, the dielectric material here becomes vacuum or uh, is uh, vanishes for example okay so that means this becomes 1 over 0, which is infinity. Okay? But when you take the reciprocal of that, essentially that becomes 0. So our capacitance per unit length will now be equal to um, 2 pi epsilon naught times ln of uh, a one, uh, ln of b over a the negative one okay so that's it i hope you learned something today and thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye